Uh, so what's up guy? This is your boy Nick and I want to introduce you to the Katakata 4 new features. So watch this video if you are new. If you want to upgrade to the Katakata 4, this is the best video for you because I'm going to take you step by step by showing you which are the new features that are available in Katakata 4 that, 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 was, that was not there on the Katakata 3. So Thank you guys for watching, uh, for subscribing to my channel. And for those who are not subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe. So let's get to the business. So the Katakata 4, uh, the main focus of Katakata 4 is to enlivening and giving personality to any bi uh, biped humanoid. Whether they are a human or a creature. So that is the main, uh, the main focus on Katakata 4. And then they are saying, in version 4.0, imagination and creativity is no longer limited by an ex uh, existing character base. Instead, any rigged character can be imported, characterized, and optimized in Kata Creator 4. Then the Kata Creator was fully compatible with Icon. Uh, uh, the Kata Creator was uh, complete uh, comp uh, with the Icon and Lip Sync, facial, body animation, and also be ready to uh, for actor core mockup animation. To save time in production so this is the amazing that is the focus so you see now they have now been able now to bring like actor core mock-up animation inside the kata creator 4. um so then they are saying uh, to present a kata creator personality kata creator 4 support customize our uh, facial expression mobs to create vivid and unique facial expression user can further check talking and body animation growth hair physics spring and dynamic and preview animation direct in Kata Creator 4. So this is amazing like the the hair when you are moving when the cutter is moving you can be able now to um, see them just like being how they are moving before you just import them to either to Icron 8 or to the other software. So what is new in Kata Creator 4? So they did a video which I already uploaded. Check on this video and this is work in progress and first of all they have this uh, enlivening in the Kata rig. Then you have animation preview, display and ladder. Then you have advanced uh, facial performance. Then you have custom expression and bread shapes. Then you have asset import, uh, prop editing and optimizing using instant LOD. And then you have other enhancement. So let's start by enlivening any character rig. So that is enlivening any character rig. So what is there? So on this one, you have here an overview. Then introducing a fast way to bring any character into animation <coughs> with thousands of actor core mockups motion with added support from icon official and body animation system. So like here we have the a base type, you have standard, non-standard and non-human. Like on standard we have the CC character which you already know. We have CC1, CC3, CC3 base plus and game base. So that one we know. So now for the non-standard, this is one is new and also non-human is new. We have active body mapping automatically when importing in CC. Then we have non-human, which is a no active bone mapping while importing in a CC. So then on the features, that is a definition. On the feature, you have related to apply a motion contact, extend bone, a human IK, facial expression, and motion life. And then we have a non-human related to apply original motion content that it came with extend bone and spring bone then you have this human IQ you can be able to do that one then facial expression uh, then we have the motion live and then we have the mocha then um, we have this on the creation of an unsaddled character with human IQ so we can just watch at this video a bit and then I just try to show you so we have like this character I think it was taken from the marketplace or somewhere and what is happening now is that this character this motion which is already existing and now you want to bring this character to the icon like this character can learn can do everything so now you just need to go and import this character direct you see he clicked here a bit here and then this character was import direct to your uh, character creator form with other features so you just add the skin for that one make the character look like the whatever you want and now you can now be able now to electrify the bones which are not mashing and try to see them. You see now you can be able now to uh, edit the bones one by one. 
and make this character more live in character creator 4 so that's what he has he's tried just to do trying to editing everything and to see it so and then they say the process of converting an fbx file download from a sketch fab and characterized is into a non-standard character ready for body animation and demonstration in the following video so that is the video so i'll just try to check on that video do the that one separately and then we can go and see on it so let's go then we have this one now uh, bring in custom official bread shape to non-human character so uh, this video shows so let's just watch this video a bit and then i'm just going to do a separate video try to explain this deep because on this video if i do this one it take me years so we have like a dog cartoon dog here and this dog uh, you know what he want is now to uh bread shape for non character so this is non character so you want to make it more be able now like you can do the lip syncing and try to see this character also animated on your project so let me just try to you see now you can just do like a human move up move down move on side to side move side to side that is possible in character creator 4 then you have uh, setting up the dynamics this video shows how to define the uh, coyote uh, ears and tail and springs bone to create vivid animation so we have let me show you like this is a very small video so they want now to make like uh, um, to, to now start making the ear being animated and also the tail like I want to check somewhere you see now those ears they are not moving but if you shake a bit here you see now you have this bone where he is trying to make some bones there and now the ear now can also be animated so this is also amazing feature so we also we are also going to do a, an exact video to show you how that one works so now we have import character with a non skeleton structure we have like a uh, import uh, import the uh, if the import character belong to a, the standard profile like does uh, does uh, g3 g4 maximo maya and 3d max bicep bladder human link or anil agent katakata 4 will detect the file so it is going automatically to detect the file and now you can now be able to uh, to be able to animate and make it now able so that now you can be able to use it on your project so like you have this character just import detect it automatically then now start your animation make this character look uh, the way it's supposed to be so i'm just going to do more video about this character creator 4 and also for icron 8 don't forget subscribe so that you don't miss any of those one so now we have are uh, creating a human character with custom bones like we have this plant here any object with custom bones can also be important in character creator 4 for post editing define spring uh refining skin weight and applying the custom motion so like you have this uh a flower here this was not also possible in uh, a character creator 3 we have this flower and just put some bone i'm also just going to show you this one and also trying to animate and this at the end is just going to be animated you see it's a very good thing now you can be able not to make this character like talk and do some things like you want to see them happen so then we have our animation preview display and ladder so with animation preview like you can now in color uh, character creator 4 you cannot be able to an uh, to preview the animation see whatever you animated was like whatever you wanted this now will be a possible in character creator uh, 4 so we have like the cloth physics check hair physics with weed shake talking animation animation display this is will be uh, uh, be possible in character creator 4 then you have advanced uh, facial performance so advanced facial person there will be advanced facial expression set with which include 140 plus breading shades for your character cc plus character with authentic facial expression 
so like let's just watch this video i've told you those things i'm going to do a video step by step we are going to explain we are going to see and when the kata creator 4 is released we are going to experiment everything and make everything look the same way like amazing thing so we have like the eyes see what he's doing the eyes trying to rotate them the bones for the eyes they are now available you can every type like let's try to move this video a bit the nose can be able also to be an uh, to be animated mouth opening and closing those things were not there in kata creator 3 so those are the new features so now we have the custom expression bread uh, bread chips so what is here so let's see now we have the customized uh, expression mops via uh, gozi everybody knows the gozi uh, this uh, was also available on uh, Kata Creator 3 and now also advanced in uh, Kata Creator 4. So this video shows the workflow of exporting the Kata model to, uh, uh, to sculpting tool and updating the result in Kata Creator 4 as a customized facial expression breadship. So for ZBrush users, you can use the GoZ function to set the model and update the result more efficiently. So this one is now going to happen easy. You know, I tried this one day and it was um, a bit complicated. But now with the Kata Creator 4, this one will be available and it will be simplified and very good, easily done. So also this one, we now check on it, see on it how it's being done, try to go deep. So then now we can be able to create our own Kata in Gozi, bring them to Kata Creator 4, make amazing project. So then we have the asset importation, props, editing, and optimize using instant LOD. So, like the overview, we are saying Kata Kita 4 support importing any mesh. Any mesh. We, we are not talking about specific mesh, it's any. Like if you have any Kata from DAS and you want to bring it, it's going to be important. So the scene manager not only displays the object in the scene, but also shout nodes and mesh data for each object. So I think. You know, I, I know we have some uh, advantage and disadvantage of any new software, but the truth is that those people, they have tried to invest a lot of time and try to make sure that whatever they are making is amazing. So this one is also going to come. So now we have the bunch of imported assets. This was uh, also amazing, like you cannot be able to import a bunch, like so many assets, everything. Don't you just to import the cape or the... the um, the specs or anything you can import the bunch of them once and then you bring them to your character creator form and now start your animation so like here you have this one here we have this character and maybe one now we have some you know we we have those crow that we bought on the sketch fab and then we want to just import this one this one will be available let's see what is going to happen you see now you can be able now to import and now exactly once just a click make the cloth weight mash and everything with just a click in cutter creator 4. then bring the object independently uh, accessory so you can also bring this one like i depended so this video demonstrated how to create prop by importing the external source when uh, the external object is imported into Kata Kita 4 users can decide whether to break the mesh or to subprop or to keep it intact so it's your decision what you want to do either you want to uh hey guys this is your boy nick from 3d animation guru so uh so sorry for interruption so let's continue so you can be able now to break the mesh and do that one so this one will be available also be possible in Kata Kita four so i want to show this video a bit like you have the guns you can say now to bring the guns and whatever this was not possible this was giving us so much stress on kata Kita 3 and now in kata Kita 4 those things are possible then we have the flexible setup prop and animate in icron 8 so this video shows the method for creating props. Uh, one, or to, uh, one is to import the hole by which the user can animate the object by editing the motion layer. So this one was by doing so, you, the user can only uh, apply the transformation function to animate each prop. 
So this one we go deep and try to discuss it as you are doing the video for. So I'm going to do every video about it. So don't, 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 don't forget to subscribe because you miss amazing work. So I'm going to get you deep and deep and deep like the way I, I used to do for the Katakrita 3. So that one I'm going. So now we have the smart human skin. Quick way to change skin color. In category 4, category 4 users can uh, quickly change the skin color by adjusting the color of bread maps or applying the color with S. So like we have this one here. We have the, col uh, the character here. And now maybe we want now to do some uh, color change or something like the same way we used to do on the character creator 3 but now this one is made easier and quick you don't have to start having problem and maybe you see you can make your character more to the color that you want to see on your character note and then you have here note this is also achievable by skin gen which is a power of skin layer so if you have the skin gen remember the skin gen is only going to be updated and it can be used to get a character creator 4 so now we have also creating actor build character for crowd lettering that i have talked about it several time you know character uh, crowd lettering was not easy in icron it was it could drag your drag your computer to the extent that you could hate animating so now this one is being able i don't know but we, we shake with whether the computer which has the not a good graphic card or a good lamb can be able to do this one but i hope look now you can be able now to animate like many character import them make them uh convert them uh convert a character into game mesh with standard bones merge all material and texture to a single material and now be able to animate like a crowd or ladder a crowd without taking ears or anything that one will also be advanced in kata creator 4. so uh thank you guys for watching this video that was everything about what is new in kata creator 4 and i'm just like i said like i'm just going to take you step by step trying to show you everything that we have discussed here uh, separately so that we can discuss it deep and when they release the character creator 4 i'm also going to show you how those things work um um practically and please don't forget subscribe or to share this video if you find it uh useful so thank you guys and bye hope to see you on my next video bye for now